welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Well, it's another Friday night. Time to get cooking, good looking. All right. Now, um, I'm I'm trying a little something kind of different on this camera here, but um, we'll we'll see if you're able to still work with me. I got Miss Rochella, cousin Josephine, my cousin Tina. Robbie, welcome Robbie. Hey honey. Oh wow, I am so glad to have y'all in the kitchen. Now, full disclosure. Oh, oof. At some point during the live, I may start sounding like Daffy Duck. I don't know what happened the past couple of days, but I wake up with the tickle in my throat like I want to scratch the back of my ears with my tongue it's just uh annoying um but yeah i've been drinking my turmeric tea some lime juice honey all of that um trying not to drink so much wine so that my immune system can actually work uh we'll see but if it doesn't work um by the time this live is over <laughs> back to the wine i go <laughs> Well, tonight, um, got a, a little treat for y'all. Um, now, I know I told you I did not want you to kiss the summer goodbye. Hey, Tara, don't kiss summer goodbye yet, all right? I know we're, we're right on the cusp of fall. Uh, the morning breeze is starting to change the, just a little bit when you walk out in the morning. Um, come to think of it, this is probably why I... Um, I've been getting a little, ooh, stuffy. Cause I'm working out and then I'm sweating and I'm walking out with the sweat and the air hit it and mm, that did it. That did it right there. Oh. Anyway, um, just pray my strength, honey, so I can get through this. Um, I won't try to keep you very long. As a matter of fact, I could not wait for y'all to get here. So, I actually started eating my salad already. Homegirl was starving. I got some uh, romaine lettuce. I was going to cut up this egg in it, but I'm almost finished the uh, salad. Some um, spicy banana peppers to open up my sinuses. And some olives and some green onions in here. Oh, I just hope it does the trick. Mm. And some olive oil and some red wine vinaigrette. Mm, this is delicious. If I do say so myself, have mercy now. Mmm. So tonight, I figured we'd end summer with a look. No, you're amazing, Sam. That's my classmate. He's always so supportive. Hey, Belinda. Belinda, let me know when you want me to come down to um, Columbia. I'll, I'll take over your kitchen, boo. I will. I sure will. Here's what we're cooking tonight. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. Let me pull up my Publix bag and show you what I got. <laughs> Ooh, I think you're going to like it. Now, um, y'all know in the summertime I like to eat a lot of seafood, a lot of fish. Um, just because it's light and it, it doesn't make me feel as heavy. Um... It makes me feel like I'm doing something healthy. So, uh, today, we are doing, I don't know if you can see that writing, it, it's pretty small. Let me just take it out of here. Stop all this suspense and, and tomfoolery. I'll show you what's going on here. Hang on. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It show is packaged nicely. I'm going to show you in just a minute. I hope I will. 
Oh, they're all my loves. Um, praying that y'all had a great week. Um, and that you were just looking forward to hanging out with me on today. This has become my favorite part of the week. Real talk. Doing the show with y'all. Um, Lord, everybody was texting and calling about mama and daddy. I already told them, child, they, um, they're a hit. They are a hit. That, hold on one second. Let me, uh, turn this down real quick. Yeah. That, um, that 46-year-old love affair between Thompson and Ethel Isaac is real. Oh, my goodness it's so real what you saw last friday night is what i've been seeing all my life and and still to this day when i go home they're just like that they're loving my girlfriend Brittany was tripping she was like they actually shared a plate they did but that's what they do um they're just so loving oh gosh i just mm, i love mom and dad um but i don't have their level of entertainment tonight but hopefully you're still gonna enjoy just being with me okay um i'm gonna take this because my eye my glasses are starting to fog up a little bit from my eggs let me show you what we got tonight tonight on sugar pearl studio kitchen live we are doing oh yeah there you go look how cute those are we're doing lobster rolls. Yes, New England style, legit, like Martha's Vineyard lobster rolls in this kitchen tonight, boo boo. Now, I like them small because when they're small like this, they're so, as you can see, well, you can see how small it is in my hand. See, it's not that big. Um, I try to stay away from getting those really big, unless it's like a rock lobster tail. You know, I try to get a small one because they're sweeter, they're more tender. Um, it, it's just got a nice little flavor that we're going to need for this lobster roll, okay? Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just wash them off. I already had some water going in my steam pot here. We're gonna steam that through in a little bit, but let me let me rinse these babies off, okay? Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's another day's journey, y'all. I'm just oh, these were were relatively clean. There's no sand, and you wanna you wanna look for stuff like that when you're um cleaning any kind of seafood, but especially lobster. When you've got all these little cracks and crevices, you want to make sure you don't have any sand or broken shelves in there. Alright. Okay. Now, my sister Patricia, I know this is not something that you would cook because she doesn't eat seafood. Um, but... Hopefully soon I can cook something that I know you're going to love. All right. Just tonight just ain't your night. Okay. So uh, I'm going to drop these in my steam pot. There's no water uh, in the um, pot. It's just water in the very bottom. It's not even touching the bottom of the, uh, the top pot here. And I'm going to just stick them on in there for about 10 minutes or so. Let them steam out. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to prepare the lobster roll. It's my handy dandy towel. I think I have them all in the dryer. And I'm too lazy to go get it. Um, so for the lobster roll, let me take my egg off. That's, the egg has nothing to do with the lobster roll. That was for my salad. That was for my salad. Okay. Let that cool off. Alright. So for your lobster roll, you want, um, if you're making it for a lot of people, then of course you're going to need more than two tails. Uh, if you can find 
claw meat, um, lobster claw. So much sweeter, so nice, just meaty and succulent. Um, but I can't afford it. Okay, so this is me balling on a budget. Yeah, with the lobster tails. They were only about five bucks a piece. Okay. So, for the actual lobster salad that's going inside the roll, you want, um, I diced up a little English cucumber, um, because you know why I love them, no seeds, they're nice and firm, um, and in a traditional lobster roll, um, people dice up really finely celery, but I didn't want to use celery, I probably should have. But anyway, I, I didn't. But I still want a little crunch. So I diced up the uh, English cucumber. I got a little bit of uh, Roma tomato. Nice and firm. Very few seeds. Not all liquidy and whatnot. I got some red onion. And I got a little green onion. Alright. Now, um, I'm not going to just use all of those ingredients. I'm going to use all of it, but... I'm not going to load up the lobster salad with all of that stuff. The lobster will be fine and sweet just on its own. You want to steam it until it turns a nice bright red. Okay? And it's it's starting to go there. But it's got a little ways to go. Don't don't lift up the lid. Let it do what it's going to do. Alright? Um, yeah. And, oh, also for your lobster rolls. Oh, and my lemon. I've already rolled it out. So I got plenty of juice in there and uh, typically you want to use a top cut hot dog bun that's a hot dog bun with the sides cut off New England that's New England style that's what they do top cut hot dog bun but I didn't see any so I'm gonna make my own using this little baguette just a little mini baguette see it's not that big, but uh, what do you say we get ready to prepare it, and then we're going to um, get it on some fire so that we can toast the sides of it, all right? All right, camera. Let's see. Hey, Tara. She made it. <laughs> Hi, baby. My niece. Oh, gosh. It's so, it's so supportive, Tara. Man. Um, oh, I've got some melted butter, some unsalted butter in here. In the butter, I put some spices. I just, what did I use? Oregano leaves, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic pepper seasoning, um, some badia, complete seasoning, um, and some chipotle roasted garlic seasoning, um, in my butter. Alright, so let me... Let that go for another few seconds. Get it nice and soft. And for the bun, I need to move, move something out the way so you can see. So to make your own top cut bun, New England style for your lobster rolls. That's my lips that I'm going to use to go inside my um, sandwich. You will need a serrated knife that's it needs to be one that has the little little tines on it like that so a serrated knife to go clean through all right so on one side we're just gonna cut yeah and see when you use a serrated knife you don't have to worry about mashing your bread you want a nice, smooth, clean cut, just like that. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side, okay? Just like this. Uh, ma'am and sir, don't think I'm going to throw this bread away. I'm not, I'm not a bread eater, but I will make croutons out of these in a hot second. Okay, so I'm going to save that because I may want some homemade croutons. Okay, so now you've got a makeshift version of your own uh top cut hot hot dog bun here stop beeping at me 
one side and the other side. Now I need to kind of scoop this out. I'm going to just pierce it first. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all, it don't take a, a whole lot of money to eat luxuriously. Yes. $10 for that little lobster tail. And some um, vegetables, tomato, onion stuff I already had in the kitchen. You know, we, we can do this. <laughs> I didn't even have to scoop it out. Look at God. He is on my side tonight. He knew I wasn't feeling well, so he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a solid, little girl. That's how God talked to me. I'm going to do you a solid, little girl. I'm going to make it easy for you. Look at that. Okay? New England style. Sides cut. Sides cut. And an opening for your, uh, for your bread on the inside. Oh. Uh, now... Mm. That actually worked out. I didn't practice it before I did the show. It just, it just worked out. <laughs> He's merciful. My lobster tails are starting to curl up. When they start to look sad like that, you know it's about time to take it out. Oh, poor Lobby. Look at you, Lobby. I'm going to turn it off and let it steam out. Um, so now I want to toast. Ooh, did y'all get an apple? I certainly hope not. That, that, that was not what I intended for Facebook. Ooh. All the way lined up. Okay. Rear. Turn this up. I didn't put the butter in there. Oh, you with me. Hey, Travis. Hi, baby. I hope y'all had a wonderful week. Um, I did. I felt a little shoddy, so I was still trying to work out through the feeling like I was coming down with something and all, but, you know, it sustained me. So I ain't got too much reason to complain my melted butter see all my oh it smell oh 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 lord have i oh if i had some crab legs baby this is what i would douse it in oh lord what i put in it um some garlic powder on Garlic powder, onion powder, some badia, complete seasoning. You can get that in your um, Hispanic section. Some garlic pepper seasoning. Some chipotle roasted garlic. That's by McCormick. And some oregano leaves. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh real butter not margarine margarine like my grandma sugar used to say have me that margarine out the refrig out the frigidaire frigidaire and margarine first of all grandma why is margarine in the frigidaire what's she doing in there and uh of course she'd laugh at me and, and say girl you know what i'm talking about what we cooking today? Hey! Hey, Annetta! Thank you for checking in, boo. Mmm, this is my garlic butter. Calvin, today we are doing a lobster roll. All right, I got my lobster tails. All right, I'm going to show y'all the lobster tails. I think that, ooh, yes, they're done. And when your lobster tails start, start when they curl up and look a little sad, ooh, ooh, not my rug. I'll wash it. See, it's uncurled up. You get the idea. Uh, oh, yes, baby. Now I want to get I want to get these real cold, real fast. 
So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that in, in just a second. Hold on. Oh, there's my towel that I was looking for. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I don't want to keep cooking this lobster tail. It's done, and I don't want to overcook it. I got some ice cubes here. Uh, your buddy person. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Look, Tara, I'm hoping this show will be a hit. Um, hey, I'm... I found something that I love to do. I do it all the time. I love food. So I was like, hey, why not do a show? Put my lobster tails in there immediately to stop the cooking process. Yeah. See, when you're from the country, honey, you learn how to improvise. That's how I'm going to cool down my lobster tail. Put a little water on that. Because I got to be able to dice that up in a little bit. That's going to be enough for exactly one roll. And that's all I need. Lord knows I don't need that gout to hit me no more. Alright. So if you're just joining us, Calvin, thank you baby. So um, what I did um, for a traditional New England style um lobster roll you can find a top cut hot dog bun and it's just called that top cut hot dog bun and all it is is a hot dog bun that's cut on the sides and hollowed out in the middle but they didn't have any of my stores so i had to make them using just regular old hoagie rolls that i got these hoagie rolls were 279 a pack now, and I'm not a big bread eater, but when I cut away my sides, that's what I got. That's going to be croutons one day. Um, and I hollowed out the inside. And now all I'm going to do is gently brown the sides of my bun. All right, so let me... Oh, yes, nice. I always want to show you what I'm doing so you don't think I'm like prefab nothing. This is, this is legit cooking live. All right. Got my garlic butter going here. It smells so fragrant with all the garlic and spices and oregano and Lord Jesus. And I'm going to just slather that on my bun. Just slather. Yes. Yes. Gucci. Oh, yes. Come on, boo. That's it. That's it. Reserve the rest of that because that's going to go on top of your lobster roll. Alright. Um, oh, I know what I meant to tell y'all. Look here. If you have not done so already, I need for all of y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Sugar, oh Lord, Sugar Pearls. That's it. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Oh, I'll put the link down here. Y'all should see the link in my other message I left. I'm on YouTube. You can watch past videos on YouTube. Turn. No, not yet. You can watch past videos on YouTube. You can also see the show that me, mom, and dad did together. It's already up there. Or you can go to my website. Um, at www.sugarpearlsonline.com okay um, but I really need for y'all to subscribe to my channel alright so find it on YouTube and if you don't then I'll be sure to include the link after I post the show tonight uh, lobster rolls baby so I got my onion I already rolled it out and I'm just going to Oh gosh, that's got a lot of juice. It's got a lot. I'm gonna cut both ends. Because I'm gonna use that over my over my lobster salad. Now the key is not to make your lobster salad dripping wet. That's that's not New England style. Flip. Ooh. Flip. 
Oh, yes. Y'all, that's perfectly toasted. Just like that. Okay? All I did was put a little garlic butter on there, and it's just browning low. All right, I'm going to let that, um, I'm going to peel my egg for my, my salad. I'm sorry, I know I got a lot going on, y'all, but I'm working with a headache here and a sore throat and stuffy nose. I feel like a five-year-old, just snotty dotty, snotty dotty. Who likes to party? I used to sing that to my niece. Um, yes. I can't even peel an egg. I'm so tired. Okay, at least I ain't got no shell in it. Crazy. Oh, gosh. And that's it. Alright, I'm ready to eat my salad and I'm ready to take my lobster tail out this is your lobster tails in a nice cold bath after cooking all right now what you got is two little two little lobster tails all right how to crack them so there are many ways um, People crack their lobster. I personally like to ooh, let that let that side go just a little bit. Um, you can use kitchen shears. Now let me say this now. L let me say, cause kitchen shears are different in different people's house. Cause in my house growing up, kitchen shears was used to um cut the potato chip bag open um cut the the thread um when you get ready to thread the needle uh the kitchen shears were used for any and everything uh in your home now i have since evolved from childhood so my kitchen shears are actual kitchen shears and i don't use them for nothing else but cooking in the kitchen okay in this case Cracking lobster tails. Take that off. Boom. See? It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm going to sit that to the side. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I just wish I could taste it. Because, um, and I can tell I'm getting a little cold because my taste buds are, ooh, we got so mad. So mad. I ain't going to be able to taste my food. I need to be able to taste my food. So I got my little lobster tails. And uh, ooh, this. Most of the time you can just squeeze it and pop the meat open. In this case, yes. Look at that. Man, God. He is really smiling on me. Thank you, Lord. You feel bad for me, don't you, Jesus? My baby's sick, he said. I'm going I'm to make sure she don't have to struggle too hard on her show tonight. That's what he told me. Ooh. <laughs> I could eat that by itself. It's so teeny old. Who is Lilo? Lilo. That's another country word. Lilo. L-E-E-L-I-L. Lilo means really, really small. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing like something Lilo. Ooh, it's so tender, too. All I got to do is just peel. I didn't even need my kitchen shears for that. My, my, my. Now, make if you don't um want to cut yourself, or if you're a little trepidatious about opening up the lobster tail with your hands, then use your kitchen shears or sewing shears or whatever y'all use them for. But kitchen shears should be used for the kitchen only. Alrighty. Oh, gosh, yes. And it popped right out. Another one. Yes, DJ Khaled on them. Another one. Rinse those off. I 
should have got five of these little things. This ain't gonna be nothing enough to wet my whistle. Little teeny old thing. Now, if you can afford it, then you get more. But I'm I'm balling on a budget this week, and I gotta make my little change last till Friday when I get paid. But I ain't mad. All right, all right. Now, what I need? Oh, you know what? I want. To. Give me another bowl. I can use a small one since I ain't got but a swallow. And I'm going to actually use my... No, I'll just dice it up right here. So I got one tail. Can you see? Can you see? There you go. Welcome. Welcome. Into this place. See, I can't even hold the tune, child. One... I'm just doing a rough chop because I want it to be kind of bite-sized pieces. The whole thing is really bite-sized, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not ungrateful, Lord. Got your salad in your bowl. There you go. Your um, lobster in the bowl. I'm tempted to eat a piece right now, but I ain't going to do it. Red onions, just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. Green onion. Uh-huh. Cucumber. English, that is. Put some English on it, boo. Put that in there. And a little tomato. Tomato is not an ingredient that you would normally find in a lobster roll, but I want some color. You know, I, I want a, a, some flair. You know, I'm, I'm just like that. I'm going to put some more cucumber in here. Until you have this. Now, what really makes your lobster roll roll, I was supposed to be doing me some green beans. I don't feel like it. Y'all, when I tell you I can't stand being sick, it makes me mad. It really makes me mad. I got the, um, I'm supposed to be hosting a fashion show at my church for the kiddos. And rehearsal is tomorrow. I got to be able to bring my A game. Hey, Antoinette. Yes. Got to be able to bring my A game for the um, fashion show at the church. And then the fashion show is going to be Sunday after church. Hey, Pearls. <laughs> Pearly, I was just telling them I ain't got no voice. I'm, I'm ill. I don't feel well. Um... I don't think I'm be able to taste my food. Thank you, Rochella. Rochella just sent the word up to the father, so I know I'm healed. Mm. In his name, yes, it's done. I I don't even have to worry about it no more. I feel better already. Mm. It's just a salad. That's all. Nothing to see here. I was just hungry. I hadn't eaten all day. And uh, uh, I needed a little sustenance before I cook. Mm. All right. Now. I cut off my little piece of lemon. I want to squeeze some of that into my, not a whole lot, Carla, slow down. And what makes the lobster roll roll? Mayonnaise, baby. You don't believe me? Look it up. This is what goes in the lobster roll. So I'm going to do, y'all be Y'all be wanting me to measure stuff, and I don't know how to measure it, because I don't measure. I just do and taste, but this is a tablespoon, so I know it's, I'm going to need more than a tablespoon. I'm going to need at least two. So a tablespoon, one, and two. Let's stir that and see what it do first. Ooh, ooh. I, I'm 
might not need them no more. That was two tablespoons for them itty bitty little lobster tails. Oh, yes. This is a quick little, if I could go outside today. So my idea for this show, and I had it planned out, y'all. Ooh, I had it planned. I was going to be by the pool, and I was going to have the grill going so I could have a little hot place to cook my lobster and stuff. And I was going to show y'all how to make this dish by the pool on a beautiful sunny evening on Friday. And then it started raining. Yeah, I said, shoot, I'm, I'm not taking my equipment out there. So, uh, inside it is. Let me taste. Mm. I need a little bit of umami. Do a little salt. A little pepper. Hey, hey! Oh! My goodness, it's going to be so good. This is beautiful. This is really cute. I'll put a little. I know I don't need the bar. Shut up. I just need a little bit. Just a little bit. And that's your lobster salad. Y'all, I know you... That's, that's it. That's two little lobster tails and, and my little, uh, my tomato, my cucumber, my red onion, uh, spring onion, lemon juice, salt, pepper to taste. You don't need to overdo it. This is a night, nice, light supper on Friday. Get my plate. Y'all know, I... I serve myself and I don't own no paper plates uh, cups people come to my house and like well you um we're not gonna use your dishes with um paper with paper you might as well just cuss me out cuz I don't even eat off paper and styrofoam at my own house so I'm certainly not gonna allow my guests to do that all right I think I do need some oh, oh no I, I need some um some greens I need my green beans I, I got to do it y'all I got to I can't just have one thing on the plate they, they say what well, two oh gather two or three I'm just do two today I'm cheating no fresh green beans today. Got these from the Aldi. And these are skinny ones too. Where are my kitchen chairs? Dag nabbit. Y'all. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Who's been in my kitchen? Nobody call it. It's just you. You just cranky and honor it because you are... Uh, took them out at, at some point but you know what this girl ain't no dummy you no dummy don't cut that bag on over just like that with my uh steamer pot yes i'm gonna just give me some quick green beans i need a little water in here just a little bit to steam it out Oh, when I tell you my head hurt bad, but I know it's going to be all right. Well, Shelly don't praise y'all done setting up your timber. So I'm, I'm covered, right? I just need for that to do something. I need some greens. So I stopped myself because I did not put my lemon zest in my um 
my lobster salad. So just a little lemon zest. You got your little hand grater. All right. You don't want to grate down to the white meat. You just want to grate the, the very essence of the lemon off. So very gently. Oh, there we go. It, it didn't want to do anything. There we go. Oh my gosh. Got some little lemon zest pieces going. Y'all get you one of these things. Hey, I paid a dollar for that. Yes. Mix it on up in there. Ooh. Can't keep a good woman down, though. No. Woo wee! Um. Yeah, so. Good week over here for your girl. Um, still getting acclimated to my new school. Mm. Meeting my students. Put me some red onions in there. Mm. And it's been good. It's been good. Um. When I tell y'all I was ready to come home and be done with the work week and just cook, you know you love something when, ooh, mm-hmm, you know you love something when, now, this is a question for you to answer. Talking about your passion. Um, five days a week, sometime on Saturday. I clock in and out for a job. Um, wonderful organization. Does great things for kids and communities and families. Uh, but that's somebody else's vision, right? But I, I do it with fidelity because it's what I enjoy. Um, but when you have a passion about something, and not that I'm not passionate about my kids and, and the students and families that I serve, um, but it's different when you're passionate about something inside of you that you birthed, that God gave to you to develop and hone and, and tweak and adjust. Um, it's different. You know you are really passionate about something when finish the sentence. That's you. Finish the sentence. When what? For me, when I can't wait to get home and do it. Mm. You know you got something there. When you can't wait to get home and do that thing that you love, that you're passionate about, that God put in you, that nobody else gave you and nobody else can take away, <laughs> then you are doing the thing. Honey, you're doing all the things. What's your answer? Somebody want to answer? You know you are passionate about something when dot 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 I wait mm. Y'all see my cousin from Jacksonville response when you can't stop thinking or talking about it. Ooh. Mm. Girl, absolutely. That's real life. When you can't stop talking about that thing, and not that you bragging on you or how great you are, but when when 
when people can see the light in your eyes when you are talking about that thing that you are passionate about is different that thing hit different anybody else I go to bed thinking about recipes. I wake up thinking about recipes. <laughs> I, I mean, throughout my day. And not only am I just thinking um, about how to do something better, but I watch other people who do it well. Now, that's the thing. See, sometimes we get so caught up in our passion, um, a little bit of conceit sets in. And we start thinking that we're the only one that can do this thing really, really well. Well, you do it really well your way. But if you can't learn from somebody else how to make your thing better, then what are we here for? I'm always looking for tips from other great chefs. I ain't talking about no basic folk. I'm talking about folks who do it really, really well. And seeing how I can tweak it to make it my own. Because I ain't trying to beat nobody but myself. Amen, Walls. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to beat nobody but myself so I can make it better than the day before. I think I just preach. Mm. Honey, when you're trying to outdo yourself, you own the sun. You are on to something. I try to make every little recipe a little bit better. Mm. The salad is the business. Then the last one. Or I try to do something different with my recipe um, that I didn't do last time. Or that somebody else doesn't do. Because I want to make it my own. I want, when you taste it. Or when you come to my home and, and you get that that Lynchburg kind of hospitality, like I want you to be like, wow. Ooh, Benita finished it. You know you are passionate about something when Benita Clavens Cooper says, when it gives you joy. You are always wanting to know more grow and develop. Benita, I love it. Now, let's talk about this thing too. Um, Benita, you got to tell the people because the thing that brings you joy won't make you happy every day. The thing that brings you joy might not make you happy every day. Some days you might get frustrated with it. Wow, let me tell you, I am, oh, honey, will I take my own advice? Yes, I will. Yes, Benita says your passion can give you peace because you're not worried about what others are doing, but what you can do. That's right. And joy is way different than being happy. Let me tell you, it is just different. I think I... Overcook my green beans. But see, see what I tell you? That's the other thing. You know, um, when you're learning from yourself and when you're trying to outdo yourself, when you can critique yourself. Uh-huh. I put a little bit too much mayonnaise. <laughs> but it's going to be fine. Just calm down. It's, it's going to be great. But I know next time, if you got them two little teeny little uh, tails, don't do that much. 
Um, and don't overcook them green beans next time like I did today. Oh, honey, let me tell you. I'm going to do a little bit of this garlic butter. Hold on. Yes. Ah. Uh, anybody else out there passionate about something? I mean, really, really passionate. Antoinette said, well, you can't stop talking about it. But Nita said, when it gives you joy, it's your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Because um, I know a lot of unhappy folks out here. Um, pursuing other people's dreams. Let that sit on your heart for a second. Pursuing somebody else's dreams. They're not even your dreams. Why, why not put that same energy into yourself? I bet on me every day. Now, there was a time when I didn't. My self-esteem was low. I was depressed. I was angry. I was broken. I had been hurt. I hurt others. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was just so much that was festering, that was keeping me from where I am now. And what I know I have right now is ultimate peace. That's why I, I can not take myself so seriously. And I can mess up. And I can realize what I can do better. But every day, I'm taking a bet on me. And I ain't never gonna lose. Not with that bet. Stop pursuing other people's dreams. Do you. I got um, that garlic butter that I had left over. Honey, nothing goes to waste. That sugar pearls. Nothing. I put it in these green beans and I'm going to just let them fry out. Oh, they're cute. They are cute and tiny. I didn't even do, do a whole revolution on that salt because I don't want them salty. Hell, I can't taste nothing over it. But, oh, well. Oh, this, this is going to be... Wonderful. Now I got me a, a couple of little pieces of romaine that I'm going to lay inside my little homemade top cut hot dog bun, New England style. Oh, I don't want somebody to take me to Martha's Vineyard. I, mean, I can take myself to Martha's Vineyard one day. One day. And I couldn't even afford two little lobster tails. So I'm going to wait on that. Okay. Alright, got your green beans going. Y'all, this is a quick little summer dish. If, if you're not going to do it before um, it turns cold, that's fine. But when you're having friends over on the patio or something like that, um, little music, little wine, you know, little celebration going on, this is a nice little... Sammy to get everybody kind of happy and they can assemble it themselves if you want to have your green beans um going there because we we got to eat our greens baby and I'm ready to assemble so I put me a few little pieces of romaine inside my my bun and I'm gonna just dip baby dip dip it on in here oh I got Quite a lot of, uh, y'all, <laughs> this is magazine worthy. Now, I ain't bragging on myself, I'm bragging on God. Um, but what we got right here is a bona fide New England style lobster roll. Take that off the fire, young lady. Just take it on off. They should be a little brighter green than this, but I let them uh, steam a little bit too long. But that's okay. Next time I won't do that. You know, you live and you learn. Oh, hallelujah. 
I wonder if I can get a screenshot of it while I'm while I'm here on the phone with y'all. Get out of my word for tomorrow. <laughs> Honey, look, we we got to preach to ourselves sometimes, don't we? I'm back, but I think I just lost all of my audience. Y'all, come on back and join me. Mm, mm. Come on back and join me. I messed up. I did. I tried to take a screenshot of my food before I ate it. I did. Come on back. Come on back. Where you at? Come on. Tell others. Tell others. Carla was um doing stuff. Doing too much. Trying to take a screenshot while she was recording. No, I ain't got that kind of technology. But I was trying to be innovative or something, I guess. But boy, did I mess up. Y'all, come on back. Hey, Tina. Hey, y'all. Come on back. Mm, 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 mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm, 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 mm. I did that. I really did that. Okay. So, Shatara, what happened? What did I do? I disconnected the live for real. So I'm starting over. Y'all, y'all have to pardon me. I'm just not feeling well and I'm messing up. I'm messing up all over the... I got to show you my dish, though. I got to show you. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Why did I do that? Just, just hang with me. Hang with me. Like Sam Smith said, stay with me, honey. Just stay with me. Y'all back? Ugh. I know. I know. It, it was, I did it. It was my fault. I'm sorry. I apologize. I ain't even gonna blame it on the devil because the devil did not do that. The devil did not disconnect my life. I did. Because I was trying to, um, I was feeling myself. Feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. And, uh. And mess around. And. Hey! I did, oh my gosh. So all of y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now y'all got to watch the other thing. And I'm gonna have to find... I know what I'll put it in my editor and I will put the two videos together in post okay so after tonight um it'll be in on my YouTube channel and on my website oh but when I tell you I am utterly disgusted that I disconnected my life messing with y'all I will. See, I told y'all mistakes. You better beat yourself. Don't do the, don't make the same mistakes next time. Uh, so I'm gonna show you just a little bit, just a little bit. Your New England style lobster roll. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, it is, it's, it's lovely, it is lovely, oh, oh, it's all right, I need for you to help me, and this is what it is, boom, boom, 
Let's see if y'all can get a close up. Somebody can take a screenshot for me. It's my New England style lobster roll. Real lobster, no imitation. Uh, if you didn't catch the first part of the video, I diced up the little lobster tails myself and made a little salad. This is a little garlic butter on top. Little green beans. Mm. Those are good. They were previously frozen. And I just put them in the steamer. Took them out, fried them with some garlic butter. And I'm getting ready to eat now. Oh, go live with who? Sonia. Is that Sonia? Sonia, I am so sorry. Sonia did. Uh oh. Tara, I'm about to mess up again. All right, y'all ready for me to eat it? I know. I need to. What side do I want to eat from? I'm going to eat from this side right here. Yes. Here we go. The real test. Oh, look at that. That's so. I could sell these in a truck. Food truck. Don't worry. I ain't forgot about my dream. Um, I shall have a food truck. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that lobster tail. Mmm. Mmm. The beans do look fresh picks on you. But they not. They're out the bag, frozen section, and Aldi. And they're the little teeny ones, too. Look how small and petite. Mm. Oh, my gosh, that's good. Oh, Rochelle, I'm so glad you came back. Girl, I'm sorry. Mm. And the bread... Got that little crunch on the outside and that little chewy on the inside. <clears throat> yes, honey. Why am I eating with my fingers? I have a fork. I'm not a Cro-Magnon. I have table manners. But I'm out of the house. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. Let me get a paper towel real quick. Cause um, uh, before we were so rudely disconnected, um, by Carla herself, we were talking about um passion and how it is. You know that you know that you know you're passionate about something, like I am about cooking. Go to bed thinking about food and not necessarily eating, but like recipes I can create. Wake up thinking about recipes. Watch great chefs from all over so that I can try to make my recipes my own, but taking tips from seasoned professionals. Um, that's how I know. Like, I want to be a student of what I do. My cousin Antoinette down in uh, Florida said, you know you're passionate about something when, and you have to finish the sentence, when, would you say Antoinette when you can't st stop talking about it or thinking about it? True. Benita Claven Cooper said when, oh God, Benita, what did you say? When, oh, when it brings you joy. And then we started talking about joy. And um, one of the things that, that we need to understand about joy is that not all the things that bring you joy will make you happy every single day. Um, some days you're going to get frustrated with the thing. Uh, but you always have that burning, that yearning inside of you that you know you don't want to be doing nothing else. 
Uh, and the saying goes that it, when you find something that you love, when you find a job or whatever that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Oh my gosh, so true. So true. Mm. Mm. Nice. So if you like, Sonia, I just saw what you said. The food tastes better when you use your finger. It sure do, girl. Mm. <laughs> it does. But y'all can finish it. Um, and if you don't finish it tonight on my show, then answer the question for yourself. You know you're passionate about something when? And finish the sentence. Um, and if you're not doing what it is you're passionate about, you might need to have a real sit down, come to Jesus with yourself about how to make that happen. Because life is too short <laughs> to be living somebody else's passion. It just is. I know people who, um, or new people, who worked, work, 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 work for somebody else all their life. Slaving, working overtime, getting paid pennies, but they still faithful. And when it's all said and done, what you got? What you got and who you going to be mad at because you didn't get to do what you really wanted to do. Don't waste time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because I know for myself. I spent. Look, when you start to put it into existence. That's my cousin Sonya Wright right there. You know you're passionate about something. When you say you know what. I'm going to just do the doggone thing. Enough talk. Let's get this done. Mm -hmm. I know of what I speak. I do, I do. Spend a lot of time trying to make other people's dreams come true. Um, neglecting myself in the process and mad as hell at everybody else. I can't be mad at nobody but myself. Because when that happens... You become resentful and bitter. Don't live that life. Live a life that is full so that when you die, you die empty. You gave it all you had. That's what real living's about. And I'm blessed that I get to do it now. I don't get to do it every day like I want. I keep telling everybody that asks me about it. One day, I'm going to make Sugar Pearls my full-time boo. I really am. Full-time. But for now, I got to get these coins. <laughs> um, so it can help propel me to the next level. But I ain't going to stop working on me. Dan! Hey, Bear! This is my big brother from Stillman. You know you're passionate about something when you would do that thing even if nobody paid you for it. Say what? You're passionate when you find the thing you would do it for free. My God. Dan, you just dropped something in my spirit, honey. When you would do this for free, ain't no, I ain't got no sponsors. I'm trying to get y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can blow up. Um, but I ain't got no sponsors. Ain't nobody paying me to come up with a menu and go shopping every week for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. It, I mean... 
I do it because I'm passionate about it. I love it. I would do it for free. Now, I'd rather you pay me. <laughs> but I would do it for free. Mmm. Mm. 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 That tastes like summertime in a sandwich. Oh, that's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I'm calling it. Don't take the name. I'm about to copyright that thing tomorrow. Summertime and a sandwich. When I tell you that lobster tail is so doggone sweet and succulent, that's why you get them small. <laughs> that my fine nephew you can see. Hey, see? He like, why? Why is your aunt crazy? Like, why? Where'd you find her? And why? <laughs> oh, you got it. Um, y'all can go on now if you want. Um, don't leave me right now, but find another device and log on to my YouTube channel at Sugar Pearls. Sugar Pearls, um, I'm, and I'm going to add the link to the video also. Mm. Hey, boo, I am doing this my other cousin in Florida. Um, a lobster roll. Summer in a sandwich. Ooh, I, don't, I lost. Mm. My God, my God, my God. That right there. That is so good. Mm. <laughs> this was good. And to be on y'all, I didn't feel like doing a live tonight. But because I'm passionate about what I do, I have to be consistent. Now, hold on one second. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find that YouTube channel for y'all so I can give you the right address. Um, passion. So if you're just joining us, and I, I ain't going to be before you long. I can't give y'all no more visuals of, of me hanging out. Um, but we're talking about passion. And how you know when you're really passionate about something. And oh gosh, we've, we've had so many people. <laughs> so many of my friends to come on and uh, share wisdom with y'all about um, your passion. So my YouTube channel is sh simply Sugar Pearls. That's capital, capital S. U G A R, no space, capital P E A R L, apostrophe S, Sugar Pearls. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also watch past shows that I've done on this channel. Um, for instance, I will play around with uh, the two videos I did tonight because I cut the first one off. And put them together. It's, it's get me to about Sunday, and I'll load uh, new videos on there. But subscribe. Don't wait. Do it now. Don't cost you a thing. Sugar pearls. That's all it's called. And uh, the the icon. It's it's a sugar spoon. It's a teaspoon with sugar in it, dripping off and turns into a pearl. Okay. So I need for y'all to do that tonight. Okay, Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R, capital P-E-A-R-L, apostrophe S. 
no space between the sugar and the pearl. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Deidre. Oh my gosh. Dan said his wife just subscribed. Thank you so much. That man. Y'all are wonderful. Y'all are just good to me. This, this, um, it means more than you know. For y'all to support a little country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina. Thank you, Rochella. I know you can't do it while you're on the live right now. Um, oh, but let, let me not you lose my train of thought now. Um, so your passion, the thing that you find that you could do for free, the dance said, the thing you go to bed at night thinking about and wake up thinking about it, it is no good. It is no good if you don't have consistency and follow through. Now, I say that because um, I really didn't feel like doing a live tonight. I was tired from the week. Felt a cold coming on. So, my head is throbbing and my throat is itchy. And I just didn't feel up to it. But I got to follow through and I got to have consistency. I don't care if I come on a live one Friday and I ain't cooking nothing. I just come on and say, hey, y'all, I just came to speak. Uh, I'm going to take this medicine and, and go to bed somewhere. Follow through. If you're passionate about something, be consistent. Because if you're not, that's just like taking, Lord, I wish I had a visual for you. Oh, I do, because I love visuals. Let me show you what, what that's like. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody about to get blessed tonight. As soon as I can find my little accoutrement. Okay. This is my torch. I, I use this if I'm making creme brulee or dessert or something. I use this to like brown. This is a powerful little sucker. This torch represents your spark. This tea light represents your passion. Ain't it nice when the two come together? Mm-hmm. It's so nice. And you just, oh, you just so excited about that thing that you do and you telling everybody about it. And, and oh my God, you, you dreaming about it. You just, uh, you're so excited. And oh Lord, you talking about all the things. You want to take this show on the road, child. You feel so good about that passion. But when you don't have no follow through, and no consistency about that passion. This is just what you did. Uh huh. Oh wow! It's slowly. Ooh, it's gone. It's it's gone. What happened to my passion? What happened to my fire? You done snuffed it out. You snuffed it out. That's what happened to your passion. That's what happened to your fire. No consistency. No follow through. No planning. The thing that snuffs out your fire could also be, and, and you know, people like to talk about haters and stuff all the time. Child, I don't pay that no mind. Because that, that just like having a nose or arm or ear. Everybody got them. Most people anyway. So, <laughs> that don't mean nothing. But, but this, the thing that snuffs out your fire, your passion, it might be a jealous, insecure spouse. Oh, man. Y'all don't want me to, to, to preach. I'm, I'm going to take a little bite of food so I can shut my mouth. 
I'm going to shut my mouth. Mmm. 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 It could be that. It might be. It might be your jealousy for that person that always seemed to get tapped for everything. That always seems to get recognized. And and you mad about what they got going on. That could snuff out your passion. Mm-hmm. What else can snuff out your passion? Oh my God. Yeah, other people, sure. But you, the greatest passion snuffer-outers are ourselves. I kid you not. It's yourself. So you can sit around and blame everybody all you want. But until you find that love again, not just for your passion, but for yourself. You know what happened with my passion? I I snuffed it out early on. Um because I was afraid. Snuffer outer. Um I was insecure. Snuffer outer. Um, I was angry. Um, wow. I lost my will. I lost my drive. I questioned everything about myself. The greatest snuffer outers are not everybody else around you. Everybody be putting all these things up on Facebook and Instagram. Tell your haters this. Child, when you're doing you, you ain't got to turn around and tell no hate or nothing. Let him watch. He'll prepare a table in front of your enemies. You ain't got to tell you, you tell them what? No, let them get a front row seat. As a matter of fact, let them borrow some binoculars and watch you work. But you got to do the work. You got to do the work. So if that means I need to be consistent about getting on here every Friday to talk to you about my pain, my passion, what makes me tick, then that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I ain't doing nothing but snuffing myself out. And I can't. I absolutely refuse to do that. So, um, this has been, wow, we, I need to go, mm. but I'm enjoying sharing with you, um, and I'm not saying this because, you know, oh, I'm so delivered and, uh, set free and, and I don't, I still don't have insecurities or things that I doubt about myself. <laughs> Every day, Yes. I just don't let it control me like it used to. See, it's different. It can be there. People talk about deliverance like it's something that you do and then it's done. Deliverance is not a, a one-hit wonder. Deliverance happens every single day. And how do you know you really delivered from something if you never get tested? I get tested all the time. And yes, I fail. I fail, but I don't let it keep me down and I refuse to snuff myself out because of self-doubt, fear, past hurt, pain. I ain't gonna let it happen to you either. So I don't care if you have to watch this video when you feeling down and out or when you kicking yourself in the behind you know, for something that you didn't do or something that you couldn't let go, hear these words. Deliverance happens on a regular basis, every single day. We never truly just gain it. We're constantly working for it. Constantly. 
my life was a mess. You saw my beautiful parents here with me last week. How could I be such a mess when I came from that? And I'm telling you, what y'all saw is exactly who they are. My mom, straight, no chaser. Um, dad is always going to like, go ahead, try it. You can do it. You know, the most outlandish things or things that I, I never would be able to conceive on my own. Well, give it a shot. Like, that was, that's his role. So how coming from that? Could I still become a broken, battered, abused adult? It happens. It happens. Didn't always happen at someone else's hand. That happened. But sometimes I was the culprit. So when you learn to get out of your own way, when you have a desire to grow in who you are. A desire to be better than you were the day before. When you bet on yourself and truly believe that that's a bet you won't lose, then you found your passion. You found it. So I hope, I did not intend for Sugar Pearl's Live to go this direction. Woo, and I ain't nobody's preacher. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. I leave that to the professionals because sometimes I still cuss. I do. I admit it. I do. Yep. Especially when people make me mad, I cuss. So I ain't ready to be in nobody's pulpit because it's like, you, you, you just don't know. And uh, I lose all my members and nobody gonna tithe no more. Um, cause the minister cusses, uh, so that won't be happening. Uh, but in any case, I hope you know, um, that I have a strong love for you. Almost every one of y'all that watch and tune in, I know personally. I know, and, and I can say that, like, y'all ain't some strangers watching me. Like, y'all know something about me, and I know you on a, a, a certain level. Um, so this is just real talk. It's dinner and dialogue. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. That's how we do, baby. Um, thank you for tuning in, as always. And um, be sure to watch for more. I know that greater things are in store um, for all of us. We just got to be ready to receive it when it comes. So empty your pockets, take off all the weight and get ready because you got to make room for some other stuff. Okay. And I know that it's coming for you and for me. And from my kitchen to your heart, I am saying thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in once again. I'll see you next Friday night, Lord willing. Good night.